Happy Saturday, everybody. Maddie here with Altcoin Buzz. Hope you're having a terrific weekend so far. Lots of altcoin projects are in the news. A lot of exciting developments. We're discussing, among others, Quant Network today, which is in the news. They've partnered with XRP, and Ripple is going to be using Quant Network's Overledger Gateway as one of its Ripple XRP validators. For a lot of other reasons as well, Quant Network is in the news. They're going to be helping out with the CBDC initiative, Central Bank Digital Currencies. And this is very timely to report because, as you may have heard, the first such national National CBDC just launched in the Bahamas. This is the first official nationwide central bank digital currency. We also have updates, guys, with regards to crypto.com. Some exciting news there. We'll be discussing new initiatives with Tomo Chain, which is in the news with a couple of new partners. And to close things off, make sure you stay to the end. We'll be discussing how Chainlink is going to be helping to track the U.S. election results on the blockchain, which is really one of the ultimate goals, if not a holy grail of blockchain technology, election tracking results. Guys, if you like this kind of content, Bitcoin, blockchain, and cryptocurrency, be sure to like and subscribe to Altcoin Buzz. All right, let's kick things off with that very exciting XRP news. Quantany here representing Quant Network has this to say, XRP is opening up the world to a new means of cross-border payments and on-demand liquidity. Running an XRP validator via Overledger Gateways, which plugs into Quant's ecosystem of ecosystems of the future, earn QNT by processing transactions from Ripple, powered by QNT. We are covering this very big story here on altcoinbuzz.io. Ripple XRP and Quant Overledger Gateway Partnership. This article by Rachel in interested persons can now earn QIT very simply by processing transactions using Ripple. So this is all part of Ripple's efforts to improve its cross-border payment system. As I mentioned a moment ago, they are adding the Overledger Gateway as one of Ripple's XRP validators. And this ultimately addition is going to make it possible for Ripple users to earn QNT tokens. You may have also heard about Ripple's potential move to the UK. That was covered in our last video, Brad Garlinghouse, talking about how the UK's financial authorities don't really view Ripple as a security the way the SEC and the CFTC do. So if you're not up to speed on that news, make sure to check out our last video on the subject. But again, this development is important because it allows the user base to earn QNT tokens. If this is the first time you're hearing about Overledger, well, Quant Network's Overledger is an industry operating system for blockchains. Notably, Overledger provides interoperability across blockchains or decentralized ledger technologies. These include permission blockchains and other blockchains like Ethereum and Ripple. Overledger also provides interoperability to public blockchains like Bitcoin, Ethereum, EOS, IOTA, and Stellar, as you guys know. And Quant Network is on a roll not only with this news up 4.4% on the day, outpacing the market, which is up 1.2%. So Quant, ticker QNT, up to $13.57. Guys, for a detailed analysis of Quant Network and why we feel it's going to be mass uh, massive, rather, and for a more in-depth explanation of what Quant Network and Overledger really is, check out this video. We published this now several months ago on the 8th of June, 20. 2020. Shash also pointing out here on Twitter, make sure you're following Shash Triple X. The top six recent articles on Google's news search on Quant Network are all by Altcoin Buzz. So we're actually very happy to report that we have been reporting on Quant Network really as an authority now for quite some time. And we're getting recognized you know, for that in terms of what some of the search engines come out as uh, suggestions. I tried it myself. I only got the top four suggestions here, but nevertheless, those are the top four. So do be sure to check out Altcoin Buzz for all future Quant network news going forward. And a very big kudos and a hearty congratulations to the team for their judicious and detailed reporting. I would very much suggest you guys follow Quant Network on Twitter at Quant underscore network. They describe Overledger as the world's first blockchain operating system, and that's a good way to think about it. But here with very interesting CBDC news, we have SEC, that's at Crypto SEC, with this series of tweets. CBDCs are going to completely overhaul the global financial system. The biggest change since Bretton Woods, an Interoperability and standards are going to be key. Quant Network have laid the foundations for Overledger to be global infrastructure for CBDCs. And if you guys aren't familiar with CBDCs, we're talking about central bank digital currencies. This was very much a discussion that started really last year with Facebook's Libra, but unfortunately because of distrust that Washington and politicians and really the general public had for Facebook and Mark Zuckerberg, that didn't really go anywhere with some of the congressional testimonies that we had. And now we're seeing other players like China very much wanting to 
fill that vacancy and get into that first position with the first mover advantage on CBDC technologies. They've been piloting all kinds of projects with banks out of China. So SEC continues here. 80% of central banks are now actively researching the deployment of CBDCs. The decline of cash usage, global stable coins like Libra, COVID, and the need for lower cast, faster payments have all rapidly reduced the time at which CBDCs will be implemented. In other words, that pace of change is itself accelerating. And here you have SEC mentioning Raul Powell, who recently did an excellent video explaining the profound change this will have and encourage everyone to watch. Also, the highly anticipated interview with Gilbert Verdian is due to be released this week on Real Vision. Raul Powell, full disclosure, is the CEO of Real Vision. Now, Gilbert Verdian is the CEO of Quant Network. That's the tie-in. Many of you likely already know that, but in case you didn't, and he had the vision to see how blockchain and CBDCs will revolutionize the global financial system and therefore founded Quant Network and has been laying the foundations to make that a reality ever since. Let's start with the technology. Now, not to get into all the nuts and bolts here, but Quant's blockchain OS or their operating system known as Overledger, that's how we referred to it earlier as an operating system. It enables interoperability with any blockchain and any existing networks without the overhead of adding another blockchain in the middle to provide a scalable and future-proof solution. And if you'd really like to dive into the minutia and the details here, you can check this out. This is a previous tweet from the 3rd of October, also courtesy of SEQ. Again, that's at crypto SEQ. But here's the idea a little bit more simplified. Each central bank and every nation of the world has one of those. Don't forget, they're going to likely issue their CBDC on their own blockchain. I've talked about this before. It may be cryptography based, but it's not decentralized. So it's not quite cryptocurrency. It is, however, digital cash. It is a CBDC. So likely to be based on permissioned blockchains such as R3's Corda, Hyperledger, and Quorum. Interoperability will be key not only to enable cross-border payments between central banks, but also with existing payment networks all the way down to integrating with existing payment infrastructure such as PIN, terminals, point of sale systems, etc. Personal identification number, by the way, is what PIN stands for. I'm sure you guys know that as well. Whatever form cross-border payments takes, whether it be atomic swaps of CBDCs, the creation of an IMF SDR global reserve digital currency, or synthetic hegemonic currencies, finalities, USC or bridge assets built on open networks such as XRP and XLM ledger, regardless, whatever form it takes, Quant Network connects them all. And their interchange solution will enable payments across a variety of existing payment rails such as faster payments, CHAPS, SIPA, SWIFT, which is a total anachronistic dinosaur right now, needs to be totally overhauled in my opinion, and PayUK, Pay.UK rather, whilst integrating with RTGS systems, payment infrastructure, all the way down to point of sale systems and mobile payments. Guys, as you can see, there's quite a bit more in this thread here. We're not going to go through every single tweet. However, I will link to the tweet thread in full. I do recommend you follow individuals such as Raul Pal that I mentioned here, definitely Gilbert Verdian, definitely Quant Network on Twitter, because this is really picking up steam faster than even many of the bullish analysts were anticipating. Again, there are so many factors exacerbating this, not the least of which is COVID right now. A lot of both private and public clients have reconsidered the way in which they bank the services that they require and many of them are going the digital route and therefore CBDCs in some respects are an answer to some of those new client requests and concerns. You guys can read about on Forbes as well as all kinds of other media outlets about how this is actually accelerating a lot faster than many of us were expecting. Central Bank Digital Currency, the first nationwide CBDC in the world has been launched by the Bahamas. So China's probably gritting their teeth on this one. They're likely not too happy. Again, they wanted to be first, but uh, hey, the Bahamas beat them to the punch. So kudos to that Caribbean nation. Okay, and moving right along now, I want to alert you to some updates from our friends over at Crypto.com. They have some news regarding updates to their card staking requirements. And guys, I want to address this really frankly and directly because as you know, Crypto.com have been the source of some controversy lately with abrupt changes to their rates, to their staking rates, their percentages, their earn rates, that kind of thing. But here is the latest at Crypto.com on Twitter. Make sure you're following. Card staking requirements update effective the 2nd of November, 2020. Upgrade fees waived now through the 2nd of November. And here are some of the benefits. You can get a 100% rebate for all of the following, your Spotify, your Netflix, your Amazon Prime memberships, and others, up to 8% cash back instantly and up to 12% interest on your card stake. Plus, after all, you're getting a premium metal charge card. And for all the details, you can check out blog.crypto.com for more information. Next up, we have some pretty encouraging partnerships to discuss, two actually, with Tomo Chain, the first of which is Ramp DeFi. 
Shopify who are excited to announce their partnership with Temo Chain for stake farming and cross-chain liquidity unlocking. So you guys know all about Temo Chain by now and hopefully this partnership unlocks some synergies because Ramp DeFi focuses on unlocking liquid capital from staked digital assets and their solution allows Temo users to extract additional liquid capital without giving up their staking rewards or capital appreciation potential. So using Ramp smart contracts, users collateralize their Tomo into a native stablecoin, Tomo USD, on the Tomo network. Users then exchange the Tomo USD for RUSD, which is, by the way, a one to one representation of stablecoin value on the Ethereum network. And for you all out there in the altcoin buzz army, if you are currently a Tomo holder, here are some of the benefits you can anticipate from this partnership with Ramp. Number one, you can retain. Tomo staking rewards. Number two, retain capital gains potential on holding Tomo. You can gain access to liquid capital to invest in new opportunities without needing to inject additional capital. And finally, you can earn ramp tokens and enhance asset yields by actively participating in the ramp ecosystem. Lawrence Lim is the project lead over at Ramp DeFi. He had the following to say, quote, we are excited to partner with Tomo Chain as they have all the foundational DeFi infrastructure required for Ramp to be successfully implemented on. The native Tomo token also has substantial token trading liquidity on leading exchanges and a friendly staking program, which makes it an excellent fit for integration with Ramp. And Tomo Chain here getting a nice boost from this news up 3.1% on the day to just below 68 cents US. The market is up, I should note, 2.7%. 6%, but Tomo Chain is still outperforming the market based not only on that last bit of good news, but this as well. Lina will be available on Tomo Dex spot trading. Lina, of course, is the ticker for Linear Finance, which is a non custodial cross chain compatible Delta One asset protocol. And Linear's long term DeFi vision is to increase inclusiveness and democratize access to investment assets, both digital and traditional. And they feel that tremendous value exists in the ability for investors to easily and quickly invest, save fees, and secure your assets at fair market value. So that's very good news overall. And this is actually from a few days ago from the 21st of October. So by the time you're watching this, very likely Linear is already available on Tomo Dex spot trading. You can check them out here. They're up 19.3% on the day. Let's do a quick refresh here just to make sure we're absolutely up to date. All right, 19.1. Again, the market is up, but only 2.6%. So Linear Finance here very much outperforming the market sitting at about 0.65 cents US currently. And now we're very happy to talk about this almost holy grail of blockchain, or at least one of its really envisioned use cases going back to even before the days of Satoshi Nakamoto in terms of a technology, some type of practical ability to track fair election results in full transparency. This has been a promise of blockchain, but as you know, we've kind of gravitated more towards this internet money for whatever reason, but there's so many other applications that exist and Chainlink now is stepping up to the plate here on CryptoNewsFlash.com new product to track US election results on the blockchains. It's called Everypedia, and it's gonna use Chainlink to enable the publication of US election results in association with the Associated Press. And so in a recent press release, the Associated Press, the AP and blockchain company Everypedia announced their new partnership, and the goal will be to use a new product that leverages Chainlink technology specifically to publish US election results on the blockchain. And the partners emphasize the need to create verifiable sources of information. And specifically, Specifically, the product that's been developed by Everypedia is an Oracle as a service platform called Everypedia Oracle. That's spelled with a Q, as you can see here. It has been created to, quote, solve the problem of oracles in the blockchain. Therefore, it offers its users sources, quote, cryptographically signed by worldwide organizations, according to the statement. The platform will run on Chainlink's Oracle service. And this is great news. It's a great development. Personally, I don't know why this wasn't popularized or spearheaded earlier, you know, really for years going back to 2016 probably even earlier, 2015, arguably, we've heard about the threat of election meddling and foreign interference and distortion and misinformation campaigns, all this kind of stuff. The answer to me has always been very simple. Put everything on the blockchain, put every vote on the blockchain, make it transparent, make it anonymous, don't reveal anybody's identities, but have a record that is accountable as to how people voted. There's no rigging of voting machines or terminals or anything like that. There's no lost votes. It's kind of the best of both worlds between physical voting and traditional election machines, which are digital by nature, but are also prone uh, as the rumors go to hacking and whatnot. So 
Great news for Chainlink. They are up 9.6% on the day, $12.85. Again, the market is doing well, but Chainlink outperforming now $12.90, up even a little bit more. We also have this quick news about Chainlink here on investing.com. They have brought verifiable randomness to Ethereum mainnet, keeps other chains in sight. So here's the update. This is a bit of a weird headline, but Chainlink's verifiable randomness function or VRF has made its way to the Ethereum mainnet and VRF will provide a decentralized source of randomness for the project's decentralized ecosystem. Now, if you haven't heard about this before, I, I don't blame you. I, I can't really say I have either. It's a little bit more of a technical term, but a trusted source of randomness is essential, the article continues, for many applications such as those in the gambling and gaming industries. And Chainlink's co-founder, Sergey Nazarov, told Cointelegraph that many blockchains beyond Ethereum, such as the gaming-focused Matic Network, are interested in deploying the project's VRF. So so this may not be the biggest news, but I would say a score and an assist here for Chainlink. Definitely this election news, this association and partnership with Everypedia and by extension, the Associated Press is a major win. Let's see if it can set a precedent for future elections. I'm really excited about this news. I think personally, and I've said it now for years, this is one of the biggest and most important applications that blockchain technology has to offer. All right, everybody, that about wraps it up for today. Hey, make sure you're following us on all the regular social media channels and keep checking back into altcoinbuzz.io for all the latest because the news never sleeps. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead, like, subscribe, and share. Also hit the bell on YouTube to receive notifications. That way you are alerted to all our content as it comes out, you are notified just makes things easier. Stay safe out there, everybody. First and foremost, that is the most important thing. But best of luck as well if you choose to invest on this Saturday, on this weekend. Have a great one. And as always, we do hope to see you again soon in our next video. Take care.